I'm going to be talking about something that bothers a big chunk of population that is trying to learn English. And I'm going to give you my own example as to how I dealt with it. I'm going to be talking about this issue where you get stuck a lot when you're trying to speak in English. So you're speaking a sentence and somehow there is a struggle between your mouth and your head. You do not believe in yourself that the next set of words are going to come out appropriately and they're going to make sense and the sentence will be constructed properly and you're not going to make a fool of yourself. You fall short of words. You get stuck like when you're talking there are too many pauses. You're like, um, um, uh, 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 you're like that. And that I do agree hits your confidence. Your confidence takes a blow. The next time when you have to talk to somebody in English, you're like, uh, the last time I made a fool of myself. I don't know if I'm ready or not. That happens, right? So let's see how you can deal with this. If I were you, what I would do? Will this get sorted or not? Garbar kaha hoti hai? Garbari waha hoti hai when you feel that um, if I speak fast, I will be considered fluent. That's not true. I don't know who spread those wrong ideas. Fluency doesn't really have anything to do with your speed in speaking this language. No. I mean, uh, even when I'm speaking in Hindi, Hindi is my mother tongue and even when I'm speaking in Hindi, I am pretty relaxed. I mean, this is just the way I speak in Hindi. I don't need to pace up. I don't need to rush. I don't need to be on fire to prove to somebody that I'm fluent in this language. No, I am telling you, like, if you like, people like me for the way I speak. I, I'm um, not boasting. Please don't get me wrong. I'm not boasting here. I'm just trying to help you here with my honest experiences, okay? And this is what I've heard about myself. People telling me on my face that, ma'am, I like there are many people who I meet on the roads, on airports, and people tell me, ma'am, we really like the way you speak. And if somebody had to ask me, Alina, tell me, how do you speak? How would you explain your style of speaking if you were to explain in a few words? I would just say that I speak slow, I speak in style, I like style, I like bringing voice modulations, we'll get to that later. So yes, I would say that I like speaking slowly, I like speaking in style, and I like keeping it simple. So yes, this is how I speak. And if people like that in the way I speak, I think this is one thing that you can easily learn because there is nothing difficult in trying to learn to speak in English slowly. If you are slow, you will get more time to process information in your mind. You will get more time to think before speaking. If I have to rush, there is a good chance I will make a fool of myself in even in my own language, in my mother tongue. Because a lot of times I would be speaking things that would not make sense to others. Because I'm just speaking for the sake of speaking fast. So relax, chill. People have time. They can listen to you. It's okay. So just relax, take your time. Don't be in rush. Speak slowly. Keep it simple. Okay. Remember to keep it simple. Do not rush at all. Your communication skills are going to be at prime. If you know how to smile, keeping it in style, keeping it relaxed and making others feel comfortable around you. These are a few things that really add up to good communication skills. And that is all you need to be a good communicator. Another thing that eats up into your fluency in English and you get stuck too many times speaking a sentence is your fear of making mistakes. What are you scared of? It's all right to make mistakes. Even native speakers make too many mistakes. And sometimes those mistakes are even stylish. They are considered in style to make those mistakes. There are too many, like, uh, let me give you an example here. If I were an Indian, I would say, I, I did not tell anybody. But I've heard this too many times on American shows, people talking like, no, I did not tell nobody. This is grammatically incorrect. 
but they say things like this i did not tell nobody it's supposed to be i did not tell anybody because it is just the way these people speak it's part of their culture a lot of learning of your language comes from the culture where you are living there is a massive impact of the culture that you are speaking that language in something that may be considered inaccurate in india will be considered accurate and pretty well acceptable abroad in some other part of the world so a lot of cultural influences also there on any language that you are speaking okay so it's all right to commit a few mistakes because there is no one prevalent umbrella under which everything under this is okay anything outside of this is not okay no rules vary according to the place where you're living in so it's all right that the only point that i'm trying to make here is that it is not black and white it is gray and it's all right to make mistakes because something that you might find inaccurate will be very much acceptable in other parts of the world there are many people big shots who commit mistakes while speaking in english on interviews on national tv and it's all right no big deal who recalls all these things and if there are people who are picking on to such things and making fun of others let them they are never going to grow you want to grow you've got to own up to your mistakes you've got to proceed and you know it's all right to embrace your mistakes it's all right to embrace the imperfect you it's okay that's all that i'm trying to say here jitna aata hai utna to bolo na apne aap ko dar ki wajah se bolne hi nahi de rahe ho aapko jo aata hai aap wo bhi nahi bol pa rahe ho kyunki aap itna dare hue ho galti karne se to jitna aata hai usko mat kharab karo because the way you speak more and more with whatever limited you know right now it's going to get polished on the way and when you will expose yourself more to this environment of english where you are trying to learn from others from tv shows and people around you speaking in the language you will realize ki acha main to isko aise bolti hu so there was this word there is this word i remember somebody made fun of me bald people who do not have hair are called bald i did not know i called it bald and there was a friend of mine who totally like she really had a good one moment of enjoyment and fun out of my mistake she made fun of me she mocked me she humiliated me insulted me like anything but you know what it's okay it's okay um i don't feel bad about it anymore i did feel bad back then it's long long ago but now i'm okay and it's all right you it's I feel it's not a big deal if people make fun of you. Who are they to judge you? You're just giving too much importance to others. If you feel bad about somebody making fun of you, probably are putting that person a little above yourself in status. Don't do that. If you are not keeping anybody beneath you, at least do not keep anybody above you. Just keep it everybody at par with you. Respect yourself as much as you want others to respect you. start at home charity begins at home so first start giving that respect to yourself and then expect it from others it's all right to make mistakes own up to your mistakes if somebody laughs first of all i do not know who these people are who make fun of others because i've never made fun of anybody never never for their language never and i do not know who these people are who make fun of others and if somebody does make fun of you it's all right chill forgive them और जस्ट यू नो एक्सेप्ट विद दैम कि हाँ यार तू सही कह रहा है मैं बहुत खराब अंग्रेजी बोलती हूँ यार मैं सीखने की कोशिश कर रही हूँ अगली बार भी मैं कोई गलती करूँ ना तो मेरे को सिखा दियो यार सो जस्ट टेल दैम ओके या यू आर राइट आई सक एट दिस लैंग्वेज आई एम ट्राइंग टू लर्न यू हेल्प मी इम्प्रूव ओके नेक्स्ट टाइम आई मेक अ मिस्टेक यू डेफिनेटली लाव एट मी बिकॉज दैट इज द ओनली वे आई विल फील फील बैड एंड आई विल लर्न फ्रॉम माई मिस्टेक सो यू मेक श्योर दैट यू लाव एट मी इट्स ओके टू जस्ट अग्री विद दैम ओके बाई अग्रीइंग विद दैम यू गॉन टू टेक द वेपन अवे ओके यू डिसम दैम वेन यू अग्री विद दैम रिमेंबर दैट सो वेन एवर समबडी लाव सेट यू जस्ट अग्री विद दैम एंड लाव विद दैम एट यू ओके जस्ट सपोर्ट दैम इन लाफिंग एट यू एंड दिस वे यू ट्रस्ट मी यू जस्ट ट्राई इट नेक्स्ट टाइम this way you will disarm them they will not know any further what to do with you how can they humiliate you when you are yourself agreeing with them okay so it's like that's so simple now there are a few things that you could definitely do to hasten this process to increase the speed of learning and that is first record and listen to yourself okay you have a camera everybody has a camera 
you have a phone yeah so start recording yourself on your phone on your selfie camera and start listening to your um monologues see if there if there if you're making mistakes in there what are those mistakes and next time just try and not repeat that mistake right so this is one thing that you could do another thing is observe opportunities to improve there's so much that happens around us in a day i when i was learning to speak in english because there was a good phase of my life where i was actually consciously trying to improve my english really really it was a thing in my life it was a fact of my life around then so i was observing a lot i was observing everybody i liked anybody who would speak well i would observe that person and i would observe them with my wide open eyes with just you know just sitting and listening and looking at them like this i've done this a lot by the way you may believe me or you do not i it's all right either ways but trust me the most you learn is through observation and observation just does not come from other people it comes from your entire environment everything that your environment comprises of the tv that you watch the phone shows the internet that you read and whatever stuff your um the books that you are looking at and magazines that you're reading your friends talking amongst themselves there's so much that happens in your environment you observe everything and you start practicing alone in your in your room if you are okay with that i i still speak to myself a lot <laughs> i just hope uh, you would never find out but there are people who found that out like i'm sure my husband must have listened to me talking to myself in my room in full volume several times very sure of that because i know i do have this habit and that's how i practice my communication skills it's okay and one last thing is to repeat everything that you are doing repeat everything that is helping you improve revisit the video every time you face this issue of getting stuck when you're speaking in english so that's all about it i will see you in the next video till then please you take care of yourself and uh, you can follow me on instagram it's all right to make mistakes even i make a lot of mistakes everybody makes mistakes the problem is not in making mistakes the problem lies in not accepting your mistakes so make mistake and accept it somebody laughs at you join them laugh with them on yourself it's okay they are they will not be able to move on from that misery you may move on from your helplessness in that moment but they will not i'll see you again soon bye bye thank <sighs> you bye